Good morning, artists. I can't see what time it is without my glasses. All right. I'm going to do this different. This is a um, heavy cardstock or um, 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 chipboard, maybe. Five here. I'll put the link to this in the Amazon links if I ever have time while I'm at work. <laughs> Work's been crazy, and I just got this whole new project to work on, and it's bad. It's a very, very, very bad, big, huge, jumbled mess. Hey, where's the rest of that stuff? I'm bored. I guess I can use this one. Um, so this one I want to be, again, uh, eight inches tall. Alright, and instead of five full, I'm going to bring it back to four. That might get cut down more. by eights, two five by eights. I do think with the doors, like in here, I want to keep a band. So these are wider than, see it's putting so much uh, bulk on that seam. So I want to pull it in so it's not putting so much bulk there. And we need to lower this. By an inch and a half. So make sure we'll be back one more time. Cut off that additional inch and a half. So we got eight, so that would put it at six and a half. These are cool. We're going to need to give that a little, oh, I need two more five by eights, right? 
Yes. Yes, I do. Um, this is uh, Paper Accents 25 Sheet Smooth Chipboard 50 Point 12 by 12 Black Acid Free. And it's really a nice paper. I've used it for a few different things now. I really do like it. Swoopy, it's a little tough on swoopy. I tell ya. Okay, so 12, five from 12 to seven. I have a feeling I should make that one a little bit skinnier than the five. So let's go four and three quarters actually. This will be the folding in flap. Let's get this guy at four and three quarters. So Swoopy here was only like $25. I'll put the link in for her too. Because for is Swoopy a boy? Swoopy a boy? Swoopy might be a boy. Don't know. Swoopy is my friend, though. Highly recommend getting a swoopy for yourself. Okay, so when this goes into our book, like this, why is it? Okay. All right. There's our tent. This is the opening of our tent. We will have risers coming off here. Here. Yeah, I could do three this exact same size. I just wanted a taller point in the middle. Okay. First cup of coffee, folks. I'm sitting down with you, of course, right as I stumble out of bed. My friends. You know, I have posted the earlier ones of these where, um, you know, you, you see the struggle. And this is called gaffer's tape. Um, and it has a really nice texture to it. Oh gosh, excuse me. Okay, this is, this is getting crazy. All this paper. Paper, paper, paper everywhere. Oh, it drives me crazy. I might need that stripe, so. Okay, I'm still looking for scissors. <laughs> I don't want to use my good scissors on tape. Oh my god, they're very smart. Oh, 
Think about this for a second here. So this is a very strong tape. Um, it's a lot less bulky than the athletic tape. Uh, also, I think it'll take uh, the paint well. I just don't think that it'll be great for uh, Yeah, I think it's super wet. Oh, come here, you booger. Love it. So, we know we want to line these two up. My hands are a little shaky, huh? Kind of slide it down here. You're going to leave space in there. You see that? Leave yourself some room for it to open and close. I am just starting to throw that on the floor, by the way. <laughs> okay, and of course, I didn't get it long enough. Now, we have a beautiful seam. There we go. Um, actually, when you put in the thickness of the tape in there, I should have probably left a little bit more space. Now this will get covered with paper. Let's see if we can see if we can get a little more space in here. We get that to stretch it all. Oh, it's freezing when I woke up, so I put on my sweatshirt, turned on the heater, put on socks, and now I'm sweating. No peeking. That sweater, sweatshirt's annoying. It's too, too small. Okay, I, I did it wrong. You know, do it wrong, do it over. At this point, it's not going to be good enough, right? This is basic construction. You have to have the construction correct or the book won't be right. Okay, Steffi, let's do this. We're gonna set this one down. We're gonna bring this guy over the top. Kind of slide it in, open it up. All right, I'm gonna give myself, maybe. It's pretty sticky stuff. I like, I like the material. All right, so I gave myself an additional Centimeter, millimeter, millimeter, probably millimeter in there, right? Not sure. And I would rather have it loose than too tight. There we go. It stays down easily. There's going to be enough bulk in there that, um, we really want to be able to allow that to have as much space that it needs right off the bat. Okay. And uh, I'm not really worried about that. 
I was thinking I didn't want to put more bulk in there, but then maybe I'll just put that little piece just a little. Because, well, why not? There we go. Very minimal bulk. Very clean. I like that. Damn it. Darn it. Steffi, golly. You know, videoing's tough for me because I actually, I, I swear <laughs> fairly often in real life. And so not swearing is uh, hard. I will freely admit I'm not some soft spoken little I actually am I'll, I'll be shy if you meet me in person ish depending on the situation if I'm happy and in a group of friends and and in a safe place where I can just express myself watch out okay so we just want to make sure that this is glued on to the bottom, taped on, taped on. Okay. Okay. Uh, option two. Now, line it up here. Let's make sure we're putting it on the little side instead of the big side. Okay, this is going to be the... Okay. White pencil! White pencil! Where are you? Let's just do this for, for all of our sakes, okay? This is the very back. And this one is the larger one, so it's the back. Okay? And this is the flap. Here. Which will also be the outside of the tent. Okay? And of course, this is our cooly little door. Dude, what do you mean? I just throw you down. Doesn't mean you gotta roll off the table. Okay. So, um, hopefully, it's okay to line this up, you know, direct straight with that. Very tight, very clean. Got it? Okay. Now, do the same to this side. And again, leaving it the space that it needs to, to do what it needs to do. Come here, booger. Come there. Come here. Don't go down yet. I do not like that these are the only scissors I can find. 
Didn't I just have like three new pairs of scissors out? Oh yeah, they're over there. Okay. So if I can use these boards without painting them, I think that'd be kind of cool. I may have to put the... Tight again, that flap bounces, but it's all right. It does have space. Hope I'm not going to regret putting that right there. Took an inch and a half off of that. Which side do I like better? That has cool. This has cool. Cool piece. Okay, so six and a half. Do it right. Save that. Still got some pieces there, but it's okay. Thunderbolt and lightning, very, very frightening me. I'm not going to do the Galileos. Because then I would just be screaming in your ears and you wouldn't like it very much. <laughs> no, you would not. Galileo. I'm definitely a not an opera singer by any means. When I was um, 19, however, I did. I wrote a lot of music. But with uh, my early years of college and uh, I used to play guitar and write music and then I'd go and perform at coffee shops <clears throat> I was a hippie as much as a girl from Wyoming could be which I was never as hippie as some of my friends of course uh, so then for them, when I reconnected on Facebook years later with a lot of people that I used to know, they're like, you became a biker? <laughs> so, 
but yes, I, I used to write music. And, uh, I actually have some good songs. I did have some good songs. I, I wanted to do that. So then I met a guy who I ended up marrying for a very short time before he became very, very abusive once he, once we got married. Um, but, uh, he didn't like my music and he would not come and watch me play. And he didn't like my music because there were songs about, you know, past past loves and heart and heartache, you know? But a lot of heartache as my early twenties. Um I think I met Sean when I was twenty four. Um, he's the one who taught me how to ride a motorcycle introduced me to some good people that way and uh, you know motorcycling lasted a lot longer than he did that's for sure uh he was the one i went to art school with there you go better see you just gotta take the time to do it right so when that folds that's that extra bulk right there isn't going to push in on the seam right give it a little space I don't know if it's necessary, but uh, you can assume that it wouldn't hurt. And look at that cool chunk of chipboard. Just right there. Love that. So where was I? 1994, I think I met him. And... He was 6'6". Six, six. His inseam, his pant size was 30, 40. He was a complete and total beanstalk, meaning he... <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know why I cut that piece that size. I'm going to use that in a minute. Um... He was the one who wanted to go to art school. And I had just gotten back from a very mm, traumatic experience in Phoenix, Arizona with another man you know, when I was uh, you know, uh, 21, uh, 20 to 21. And I'm like, I, 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 I am not going to leave this state again. I do not want to go to this college. I do not. No, no, no. It's like, come on, Steph, please. Come on, come on, come on. I just put that on crooked. I think we'll be okay. I'm like, no, I don't want to leave. I, I don't want to get stuck in another place that I hate. I don't want to... I don't want to go. Don't make me go. Please don't make me go. He's like, well, I'm going. And... Um, so I put in for a scholarship and he went and talked to the instructor that he got his scholarship from. And uh, she didn't like me very much uh, personally. So but she took her time getting, you know, talking to the people. But in the meantime, I talked to somebody, at, and I went to Columbus College of Art and Design in Columbus, Ohio. And so I ended up getting my own scholarship without the help of this instructor in this, you know, at that time it was a very uh, small two-year college that, you know, the instructor was one of the most hateful women I think I've ever met. You know, she liked the guys, but she couldn't stand the women. And, uh, and God only knows why. She didn't like me. 
But anyway, I got the scholarship. And then she ended up getting another scholarship that she could give to somebody else. So uh, she gave my scholarship to another student. So all four of us went off to CCAD the next semester. Oh, God, Sean. Oh, what stories I could tell you about him. Are we, we're into the eight minute mark or eight o'clock time. Can I get this all constructed here? Uh, Sean. So, uh, Sean and I, uh, really, in the beginning, it was good. I mean, he was, he was truly my best friend, and, uh, so we had a lot of things in common that we liked to do, and, um, and as I said, he took me to my first Sturgis motorcycle rally. He took me to, uh. It opened up a whole new world to me. Oh, it's for that. I, you know, I, I'm thankful for. Uh, Seanisms. <laughs> so I had a Honda Civic little hatchback. Uh, ugly car. Ugly car. But man, that thing could four-wheel drive like you wouldn't believe. I know. I know we took it four-wheel driving. We got stuck once. Uh, but so, him and his dad decide to build a trailer hitch on the back of my car. <laughs> and it was out of, like, a steel plate that was, like, this big. Oh, it was insane. And then they, you know, load up this trailer. Then the trailer is larger than the size of the, of the car. It is. The trailer is absolutely huge. Full of stuff. But there's not a couch. There was his waterbed, which I hated the waterbed because it hurt my back. Horrible on my back. But he loved it, so we had to have that. Um... I, but there wasn't a couch, there wasn't a table, there wasn't uh, anything in there that would really truly uh, help us start up, you know, to start up, you know, a new home that, that we could furnish. And I'm like, what the heck is on this thing that it is so, so, so little down? Well, what was on there was stuff like, oh, uh, two microwaves. Like, Sean, why do we have two microwaves? Well, you know, th that's in case, that's in case one doesn't work. We have a backup. I like, you know, and at that point, every apartment came with a microwave. I'm like, Sean, there's a microwave here in the apartment. Why did you bring this? Well, we need it. Uh, no, we... We definitely do not need three microwaves. So he proceeds to go and plug in all three microwaves. He gets an extender outlet and he plugs in all three of them. And, he, and then he comes and he so proudly shows me, he's like, see? And I'm like, why? Why do we need three microwaves that work? Well, then you can cook all the food at the same time. Like, you mean we can't wait two minutes while the corn is cooking before we put in our can of soup? I mean, oh, oh, I don't, I don't microwave cook that much. Uh, anyway, that was just an example of him. Where did that story start? Why did I get off on his tangent? Oh, God. Art school, maybe. I can't remember. Have to listen to the video and find out where I started with that. Seanisms. Good God. His parents, his, his father was a super sweet man. And after my dad died while I was at school, he, he was very, very sweet. 
but uh, his parents were a bit of hoarders because they had grown up in such poverty, both of them. Large families. Uh, Ron was the oldest, and his father was a bit of an alcoholic. So this is going to be too long if I make this space. Look at that. I know I need to make this space in here, but I've just extended this past my five by eight size. I want to give it a little bit more than that. So these are the types of folks that um, went and bought a new freezer for in their garage or a used freezer most likely. They were very good at finding deals and they put the, the refrigerator, the refrigerator was a freezer, they have freezers too, uh, but they put the refrigerator in so that they could put the potatoes in there. They went and bought a truckload of potatoes and they bought the truckload of potatoes so that they could have fresh potatoes all year long. And of course it was cheaper to buy it by the truckload, they figured, than going to the store and paying $2 for a bag of potatoes. I don't know. But that was just kind of the mentality there. Their house was very full. But they were good people. They were definitely good people. Their son wasn't. They were. Okay. I think I think I think we're we're pretty solid here. Um, you know, this is obviously going to push the book open, but I think if I pull this out here and put this in here instead, that it's going to be a much uh, more improved thing for the book. And then these flaps are much stronger, All right? Not flimsy, very flimsy flaps. I am thinking um, of just cutting this out here, actually. I don't have time to do this, I know that. I did think about just starting a new book and uh, I went through the new box of books that I had uh, gotten at the most recent library bookstore. I found a lot of you know, perfect books this size. This is the only one that's not a first edition. And this one actually might still be a first edition, but it's been, you know, torn and loved so much. Let's see if it is. 35th printing, copyright 1941. So this book, this book has been loved and loved and loved and loved. I love that. Okay. Uh, but I think I'll, I'll try to make this work. Um, taking the fabric out that was a great idea. It just doesn't work. And I'm not afraid to, to make it right, you know? Don't be afraid. Make it right. It's the lesson here. We might be able to 
salvage this here. Hold on. We got it. Yep. That was hours of work. See this ridge here, though? This ridge that was created. I need to get rid of that, too. This page could almost go. This doesn't do much for me um, at all. These I love. That would make a lot of space for the book too. For this little insert. Although I will pull off that card off of the Tim Holtz card. I liked that um, pattern on there. Part of me wants to leave this front cover open. Oh, I feel like I need something to calm my stomach this morning. friend of mine, uh, Carrie, had done a page that um, showed a train that I had triggered on the other day, and part of me 
would love to put the train coming into town. But it's going to depend on if I find a good image for it. There we go. Careful. Don't take apart the whole book. You know, we're just trying to make a space for it. telling you that story. It's so funny. Uh, so we get to this college. It's an amazing school. And I'm going in as a junior. And I'm looking around at the freshman painting. Um, you know, I had to take the, the first, the first, the first, very first semester I had eight classes, and six of them brought out nudes immediately. Um, and I learned how to draw the human form. <laughs> and, uh, drawing, painting, painting two, painting three, painting four, portraits, you had to take portraits, you had to take, um, you know, basic drawing. How many drawing classes have I had in my life? I have no idea. Yeah, but each teacher has an individual way of showing you information. You know, and even if I didn't like a particular teacher, I still learned something from them because that's the type of person that I am. Now, Sean was always happy to do things very half-assed. I would get the semester assignments and I would start to work on them. And I wanted to make beautiful things. I wanted to push myself. I wanted to learn. That's what I was going to do, man. If I was going to be stuck in Ohio, which I don't love Ohio. No offense to people who live in Ohio. You guys just don't have any sunlight during the winter. And I was there in the winter for two years. Very depressing for me because I get seasonal affected. I need sun. I just need the sunlight. What are we doing here? I have a feeling it's getting worse at that time, of course. type he would do his uh, semester project he would do of course a, a mid semester project every class had this almost every single class would have you know a, a huge thing that would be due at midterm and then another one at the end of the semester so you were basically just doing art for days and day you know just you wake up do art you go to school, do art, you come home, you do art because you get homework and then you have to do more art and then you, you know, it just was constant. And, uh, I hope I shouldn't have used, I hope I used the right tape in there. Uh, he was start on his mid-semester project two days before it was due. I was the type that I would start the project when it was assigned. So, um,
that meant that I have I have a couple of um, drawings still that are they took me a hundred hours to do each one of them very 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 detailed very precise in my work and it always made me kind of angry because you know, here, he was the one who pushed me out there, and then here, he's such, such a lazy person. But. Of course, my dad died while I was out there with a heart attack when they were at a business trip in Des Moines, Iowa. Oh, well, I'm going to need some tape. Um... Oh, good thing I looked at that. So it was a very hard, depressing time in my life, to say the least. But it was also one of the most exciting times in my life because I could see what I was learning. Oh my god. The artists around me, you know, when you are that surrounded and that in, um, immersed with that much pure talent. I mean, these people are the best and the teachers are the best in the nation. I mean, we're talking. Huh. It was one of the, it, I don't know if it still is, but at the time it was one of the top 10 art schools in the country. It was very, uh, very good school. And I remember Mr. Herndon. He was my uh, sculpture teacher. He taught me how to carve stone. He taught me how to I do, I, I have, I still have the alabaster pieces that I created. They are at my mother's house. Um, I, I love sculpture. I don't do it as often as I would like. Um, um, See if we can get it in there. Can we get it down? Let's get a pen. The um, Dean of Fine Arts. So, so um, Mr. Herndon, he was the um, head of the sculpture department, and I worked with him for the next two years. And then the dean of the uh, dean of fine arts was another mentor of mine, and I worked with him for two years. And I loved both of those men; they were so good. They were such incredible artists, um, and their integrity and their ability. I mean, wow, 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 wow. I would love to go back to school someday. I also would love to teach, though. I think I would be well suited to it. But to teach in college, you have to have your master's. And to teach in grade school, you have to have a teaching degree. I just have an art degree. Um, and as I am a solo person, I cannot afford to just do school. I've got way too many bills. That's out of the question. I'd love to go back and get my master's though. Oh. So if anybody younger is watching, you know, if you get the ability to go, first off, forgive my swearing, if, if anybody younger is watching, 
If you get the ability to go to school, you go to school and you love it. And you learn as much as you can learn from it. And be thankful that you have that opportunity. <sighs> For me, it was highly, highly depressing. The way that he got me to stay there after my dad died was he asked me to marry... Oh, no, 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 no. The way that he got me to stay there right before my dad died is he asked me to marry him. As I was crying in bed, he says, marry me. I knew I would stay. So stupidly I did. But that was later. Okay. There it is. Construction. good huh this is what I was thinking about at two o'clock this morning when I'm like okay I'm gonna post yesterday's um, <laughs> frustrations all right okay well I know I know Faye is probably out there going <gasps> what are you doing but it'll be better just trust me here it will be better that I've done this and uh, now I have really stable pages to work off of. Um, I still have to figure out, of course, my um, pop-ups, but I will. Um, oh, jeez. Of course, all of a sudden I'm thinking, okay, so how I can do this is I can yeah, hit this and da 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 da. All right. Goodbye, my friends. I will um, talk to you soon. I really need to get everything ready for my show on Friday. It's a, you know, it's a small show. Of course, it's indoors, so. Well, it's not like setting up the whole tent. This, for some reason, is in here lopsided. It's like this has more space at the bottom than this. And it looks like that has more space. Okay. Have to pull it here. This is tape on tape. I should be able to pull it up. Make it right. Make sure it's in there correctly. Make sure you've given it enough space. It's lined up there right. That looks better. Right, doesn't it? saw my dad in a dream last night. It was a very frantic, hectic dream, and he sat down all of a sudden in the chair across from me, and it was so real. I was like, Dad! Dad! I don't know why he showed up right now. Uh...
brought tears to my eyes. I startled. I reached out and touched his leg. And I felt um, a person underneath of him. Like, Dad, Dad. And then he disintegrated and my hand was on another person's knee. He just sat down in his chair. So yeah, I had a dream about Dad last night. I wonder if that means I need to check on my people. Or maybe I just need to check on myself and find out what's going on. Work is stressful. Okay, everybody. Um, I have to go get ready for work. Still doesn't sit in there quite the way I want it to. But it's, it's healthier for the book. So I still got a half an inch. See how it comes out here? Half an inch. There. Just going to have to keep an eye on it. Okay. Chat soon. All right. Hey, new subscribers, it is awesome to see you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Um, I hope you enjoy. Talk to you later. Bye.